When it comes to coffee, I would say the average consumer uh, just thinks that coffee tastes like coffee. I imagine that's incorrect. What are your thoughts? So, yes, coffee can taste like coffee. We all know that flavor, and you know that's where we have our behemoth. It's like a dark roast Colombian that we put it on our espresso. Mm. My dad likes it. Your dad likes it. My old lady neighbor likes it, but also, um, you know, Sage from Avondale, they like it. Um, so that's everything. But then, you know, we get into the more creative blends of like natural coffees and um, other just, there's, so, it's a very vast world. But then you take that very vast like catalog of all the beans you can get, mm. and then you start blending them together. And that's when everything, I mean, there's literally no end of the possibilities. You can make, you, you can go forever. Mm-hmm. I'm making blends. When, you, when you're when you seeking to make a blend, like what uh, what are you kind of looking for? Uh, it's kind of like when you make a cocktail. Uh. Balance, right? Mm-hmm. There's high acidity, low acidity. There's fruity, there's floral, there's chocolate, there's caramel, there's herbal, there's like very sugary, there's bad mouthfeel, good mouthfeel. What's bad mouthfeel? Thin. Oh, uh, yeah. Like you don't want it to be like, that's like watery cup of coffee. Yeah, so why don't but you don't want, But you also don't want it to be like, but like that's thick. Mm. You know what no I mean? sludge. Yeah. So we try and we fail. Yeah. But we try and we succeed. That's the fun part. 